Facebook. This is this is this is Stephen and Brigetti uh, <laughs> in discussion on Be Live in Five. My, I had a brain fade then. Hello, Brigetti. Hi, Stephen. Um, you know what? I don't know if you can hear me, but my screen has frozen. So if you can hear me, I'm going to do a quick refresh and come back in again. I'm not sure if it's my video or your video. Um, what a way to start off with, oh, but right, I'm okay. going to hop out and refresh. Okay, right. Okay. I'll carry on with the show while we wait for Brigetti to refresh and uh, make sure that we are live. We are live. If you are watching us, then welcome to the show. Um, and... I'm just going to edit the post to say uh, brain is on camera. Okay, so this is the post being edited. Oh, I didn't copy the right thing there. This is live video and it's going to be one of those nights. Ah, uh, okay. If you are watching, my apologies for that. And uh, I won't say hello to Corinda. Hello to Robert. I've just put a link in to join us on camera if you'd like to do so. And I'm just about. Right, okay. I f no, right, okay, we all should be good now. Uh, <laughs> this is not the best of starts. Uh, this is the second show of the day, and it's obviously taking its toll, and it's nearly weekend. And to rescue me, hopefully, in a moment, I'll be joined again by Brigetti. If anybody just wants to join us on camera, then just click the link. Uh, Brigetti, I can see... Uh, see what we'll do. Shall we start again? Yes, um, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Corinda and Robert and everyone else who's watching. This is Brigetti and Stephen in discussion with anybody who wants to join us. And uh, good evening, Brigetti. Good evening again, Stephen. Take, take two. <laughs> take two. Now, a moment ago, uh, no, we should have, you should be able to see Brigetti now. Uh, Brigetti just refreshed the browser, which is our normal thing that we do when we have any problems at all. Is just to hit refresh. Now, you were talking to me earlier, just before we came on air, uh, about Facebook Watch rolling out in. Uh, yeah. Yes, I am pretty excited. I was pre busy preparing um, to get ready for our broadcast today and um, scrolling through one of my Facebook pages and suddenly had a notification popping up that I've now got live video available on my Facebook page and of course I have about I don't know 20 Facebook pages and I sat going through every single one trying to check all of them and I have live video activated on all my pages so I'm pretty excited about that um, oftentimes in South Africa we feel a little bit left out because we tend to get a lot of technology later on but I'm finding that um, with Facebook, when things get rolled out, we're not that far behind. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, have Have you got yours yet, Stephen? No, no. I just, I just, say, as I say hello to Robert, I'm, I'm just was saying to Corinda that hello. Uh, I was just saying to Corinda, it's not in the UK yet. Hello, Robert. Hello. How hello. are you? Hello. How are we, you? Hey, Robert. <laughs> We were, we were, been a while. We were I, I, a little on Twitter you know, yesterday. Ah. You, you know what, Robert? I don't think we've been on the same screen since Blab days. I, we did one time on Be Live. That was it. Did we? Oh, yes, we did. We did. We did. I speak under correction. <laughs> so what were you talking about, Watch? Um, I have now got Facebook Live video um, in my tab. On my Facebook pages, it's it's rolled out here. 
so um so i'm pretty chuffed about that you know we're always very far behind when it comes to technology getting rolled out um in the rest of the world so it's nice that we're not so far behind when it comes to rollouts with facebook we are ahead of the uk which is good a good thing to be uh, it's very <laughs> it's very unusual very unusual <laughs> <laughs> right now you've had it quite a while Robert. what are your thoughts on it i actually like it i actually applied for a show um it takes forever probably to get a response and everything but i think you also have to have a huge follow to even facebook to contemplate giving you a show uh but it, it's nice the watch tab is actually nice you can go through different things and there's some funny stuff i actually signed up for a couple of them to watch them on a regular basis it's basically like a, a, a watching TV. Have you found any of our, anybody we know on there yet? Not yet. Right. Not yet. I, I found a couple people I didn't even know about and then went to their YouTube channels and I saw they had millions of subscribers. And I was like, I never even heard of these people. And, you know, that's what this is all about. It's, it's bringing people out further and further into the world. Did, uh, yeah, I saw Christine. Sorry, sorry Bridget. Christine posted in the in the Be Livers group a couple of people that she found um, on Facebook Watch. Must release for some somehow she seemed to have. I think she was the first person to have announced it on Be Livers. In fact, right. um, and she gave us some screenshots of what she was seeing. It's it's interesting. I mean, I just love the fact that, you know, it was about a couple of months ago, I saw this little thing pop up on my phone yeah. that said, if you wanted to watch Facebook Live, this was kind of before watch really even started, watch it on your Apple TV, watch it on your Google TV. Yep. And I'm sitting there and I, I, I screenshot it and took that little chip and I put it up and said, now tell me Facebook's not trying to be a media company. Oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> well, well, you know what? This is really a space to to watch. And we still really, I think, at the tip of the iceberg, not many people have even caught the wave. You know, we're just so far away from that wave still. We're this still is going to go to something. Now. We haven't even gone up yet. Yes. <laughs> we're at the, we're at the yes. base camp. <laughs> but hey isn't it exciting that we are part of this oh yeah yeah uh, a technical question Bridgette just a quick one from uh Corinda do you have a new microphone um no I've I've had this microphone for a while why right. is it sounding different well from from where I'm it's sounding good it's crisp and clear uh Corinda though uh well anyway on with the show. Thank you, Corinda. And uh, a, a comment here from Alfredo, which we say thank you to Alfredo, because uh, you just thanked him, Robert. Uh, I know. It's, always, it's always fun to have the social leader, Robert C. Stern and Stephen Healy, on screen chatting with Brigetti. Uh, well, this is. This thank is you. Hi, hi, Alfredo. Yeah, this is actually pretty darn good. Um, now, uh, we've done Facebook Watch. Uh, there's a big. Uh, show just want to mention it is uh next monday we've all got to watch because it's the be live monday show that's what i'm calling it we can't call it be live weekly because jeff's not there um so it's the be live monday show uh, and that's at three are we, are we officially renaming it oh, I, I am I don't, I don't, <laughs> <laughs> it's called the monday show. <laughs> yeah that's it the be live monday show i don't know uh, with with Joel Com, um, he got off to a good start last week, but this week is very special because there will be announcement of Be Live updates. Now, as usual, we've no idea what they are, but they know, we do know that it's bound to be helpful to everybody who's broadcasting on BeLive.tv. So, if you're interested and want to try things out early, that show is going to be the place to be. So that's 3 p.m. Eastern on the BeLive.tv page because they. they We've had, they've concentrated over the last four or five months on being stable. And I think, I think stability in, uh, and the quality has increased. What do you think? Oh, I, I think, think so, yes. 
definitely. Yeah, I, I, I think they that on, they just got to work a little more on the mobile app, but it's 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 definitely stabilized. Oh, I've got a feeling that we've got some surprise coming for the mobile app. I mean, I don't know, but I have I have a feeling. I I've got a feeling something's coming. Well, it's I the think. one year anniversary is coming up, so well, you know something big's coming. Well, I mean, they are being. Uh, sort of uh, crafty about this because the updates come out a week before the birthday show, which means that we get all the updates, we can get used to them, and then we can join in on style on the uh, 16th. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm looking forward to finding out who's actually on that day. We do know that uh, Jeff is master of ceremonies, and he starts at 8 a.m. Eastern, and he finishes at 2 a.m. Eastern. So he's got a long day ahead of him. Um, and it's going to be an interesting day. All right, okay, right. And Corinda, we we've got to say, Robert, you, you asked me earlier uh, about 2017. Not on this show, but you did ask me earlier. The blog thing that we're about, 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 yeah. about things that have happened in 2017. And Corinda's saying he misses Smile Time. Mm -hmm. Now, Smile Time. Uh, was here before be live wasn't it i mean we were on there let me and think about that i'm trying to remember we were pretty close yeah they're pretty yeah. close but smile time was, was four people on screen and and but it was it, only mobile in the beginning where well, was it was uh, and desktop there were four right, people they had desktop afterwards it started as just mobile Right. Okay. I'm. I'm going. Right. I'm going to go. I want to go back. I know we can go back to beginning of the blab, but I mean, in terms of, of then, uh, go to Periscope and Meerkat. Ah uh, no. <laughs> Never went there. We could go <laughs> all the way down the rabbit hole. <laughs> oh, we could. We could. We could disappear. <laughs> but let's just let's just go. I just want to go with Smart Time when it was web based. Mm -hmm. uh, Four people on screen. You could actually run it on its own, but it did then start to come out to Facebook Live. Um, but there were this is where BeLive is different to Smart Time. BeLive worked their socks off getting reliability. And Smart Time has said we're not going to achieve it. And they've now become, as Alfredo has observed, oh. pop in. And it's just the use type pop in and you can download the Android app and the iPhone app. Have you tried it, Bajetti? Or Rob? downloaded it i've downloaded it so i've got it but i i haven't yet tried it if you tried it robert i went on one time um my whole thing right now is i i, I obviously i need to stay up to date and on live and what's new and everything that's going out there but there's just too many <laughs> there's just and there's just they're all coming out with the similar features and they're all coming out. It, it boils down to a stability factor and can it be used on Facebook? Can it be used on something else? Because when it was just lab by itself and, and, and obviously you know, we were both on blab with me at that time. So when blab started, it was, it was a whole unit by its own. You had to log yeah. in with a Twitter and you could tweet out, but with a link to bring them back to Blab. Now, you have to be able to put it out on Facebook live, put it out on Instagram or one of the others. Periscope, live. YouTube, yeah. You know, it's a different time from when we were when we started all this. And to believe, this is the part that wows me the most. Prior to 2015. The updates in social media were every four months, mm -hmm. three months. Yeah. It's the first thing I do every damn morning. I have to check the update because <laughs> <laughs> you just – Instagram comes out with this and Snapchat yeah. comes out next day with this and Facebook then adds another feature and I can't keep up. <laughs> and you know what? I was, yeah. I was looking at the statistics for, for some other, you know, my other business that I'm involved with. It's absolutely insane. Um, statistically, they say that 70% of the population will have a look at their smartphone the, 
as they open their eyes in the morning. It's the first thing they do. It's my alarm clock. And, <laughs> and, and, and beyond that, on average, people will check their smartphones 100 times a day, on average. Right. Some people will do it more. But can you imagine? As Stephen's doing it right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't resist, could you, Stephen? No, I, I, my I know it's not something that you want to talk about, but I do it, so I'm going to say it. And I've done it when I'm on stage. I want to raise a hand. Who looks at their smartphone when they're on the toilet? <laughs> Nobody's going to I do. to that. <laughs> okay. I do. Okay, I do. I just did. <laughs> Everybody does it. They oh, yeah, don't true. Really it. It, it's, the, it's the only room in the house where you guaranteed peace and quiet. See, Curtis Brooks just went, me. <laughs> but we Welcome, do, Curtis. We're so attached to these things that going to the bathroom, we can't even put them down for five minutes. True. Uh, is, is anybody going to go for the latest Apple phone? I'm up for no, new not um, yet. I have these major, major cracks. Ah. And actually, when I live stream, the crack goes right at the edge of the camera. So I got this little glare thing. So I do need a new phone. I just, I can't comprehend yet, even though I'm a tech person, I'm a social media person and all this stuff, I cannot comprehend paying 800 to $1,300 for a phone. It's, it, it's beyond me as but, well. But, but you know what? Yep. That's, that's an interesting thing. I mean, I know, sorry, we're going down another rabbit hole here. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's the interesting thing. These things that we've got are, are no longer – phones yeah they are not a phone this is not a phone yeah. it's a pocket computer is what it is mm -hmm. um because you know you can you can actually do anything and everything from your smartphone um, a phone is something that you use just to make a phone call and our smartphones are way beyond that it's it's no longer a simple I'll phone I'll to that Brigetti. nobody makes phone calls anymore yes <laughs> <laughs> true that that's very true very true yeah I mean, in, in the uk we only have a landline uh because we want cable and you can't have the cable unless you have a landline so we've oh, got here you can actually get internet and tv without phone all right okay can't in the uk we, we, yeah we can do that don't you, seriously don't you have fiber um in in the uk Oh, yeah, we've got fiber. Or satellite. You, yeah, you've still got to have. It's we, the way they sell it. Yeah, it's the way it's sold. Not a te it's not a technical problem. It's uh, a marketing ploy. Okay. So yeah. here we ah, go. Take, take, uh, I can buy just TV and no oh. internet and nothing. I can buy just internet and nothing. I can get two of the th just phone. I can buy two of the three or I can get the bundle. I can do whatever I want. Brilliant. I mean, that's, well, that's the no, thing not... we don't have. I'll give you one better because I don't know what it's like by you. I know in Canada and Australia, I have unlimited data. There are oh, countries. Okay. Okay, you wow. can. <laughs> Do you have? No. It's so not. I pay $75 We've... a month, and every single thing is totally unlimited. Well, we've got unlimited, but data is still fairly expensive here. Um, and for me to to get an unlimited data on my on my smartphone is going to cost me quite a packet. So yes, technically it's available, but it's very expensive here. But I know, like in Australia, they don't have unlimited packages. Mm. Yeah, you have to buy it by the data, and if you go over, oh, oh that's that's yeah. <sighs> That is expensive. Very, Very expensive. expensive. It you can be in for a pretty nasty surprise. Yeah. yeah. And and Alfredo's got it all under control. He's got a ten dollar a month prepaid phone. So there are ways and means. 
Uh, and but it just depend where you live. Now, we hey, by the way, can I ask yeah. you guys on yeah. on the subject of of data and smartphones and broadcasting? Have any one of you been able to tell me how much data you use if you live stream on mobile data from your phone? It's on my bill. And how much data would you use for a thirty minute broadcast, for example? Okay. I, the average they, they, they do have averages yeah because because periscope was like the push on it because of that was the whole thing now granted a lot of times i'm tied into my wi-fi when i'm in the house so it's not there but when i'm out and about you're using the data so right they have found statistics have shown you're using one to two gigs of data when oh you my gosh cast for 30 minutes yeah wow if you oh. are just watching and not broadcasting you're using just under one gig of data for 30 minutes broadcasting is more wait robert are you saying that if you're watching, you could be using one gig. Every 30 minutes. Yep. And if you if you think about watching a video and downloading a video, then on average, a, a, a film, a film would be 3.8 gig. Yeah. And what you're actually doing is downloading. Okay. Are you? If you're just watching. Are you talking, are you talking about a. If you're not broadcasting and you're just watching, it's one gig. If you're broadcasting, it's one to two gigs. It's more. Okay, well, somehow I, I, I have not used that much because I don't even have that much data available on my phone. And I must I, I watch plenty on my phone. Um, you know, I've got back house. issues. Are you doing that in the house while Pardon. you're tied to your Wi-Fi? Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't because in my in my bedroom – I don't pick up my Wi-Fi signal, so then I have to use the data on my phone. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to try and test that. I'd, I'd really like to know. When I was doing a lot of periscopes, it was kind of before Blab, and I was doing a lot of periscope. I, I was on Verizon, and I switched to T-Mobile. And I got this unlimited plan, and I was saving money. And T-Mobile's first bill came in. It was in the summertime. It was right before the first Periscope Summit. And I was doing it all over the place. The bill came in. I used for the month of July 42 gig of data. Holy moly. Now, now Robert, just to be fair, though, what does it cost you per month to have for unlimited data? $75. My total bill is $80.62 with tax. That's tax included. Okay. I just want to convert that so I can get an idea of what it is. It's right. actually not bad. <laughs> While Roget is converting that into RAND, I just want to mention two things. Uh, Monday the 16th is the BeLive.tv birthday, and uh, there'll be shows, as we said, from 8 a.m., Eastern through to 2 a.m. Eastern. So that's quite a, a long day. And uh, hopefully we'll all be on there. If you want to be on there, there is still time because Be Live TV wants you to be there. And uh, the campaign yeah. is called We I Want You. Will apply. Brilliant. Hang on. She wants to go on. She's a social. Christine Gritman. <laughs> Name rings the bell. Yes. Yeah. We Want You is the, is the campaign. I put the link in the comments. If you want to have a show on the 16th of October, I would suggest you get it in the request in this weekend. They want to know who you are, your Facebook page, type of show you want to do, and that's it. So uh, wish you all the best of luck if you want to be on the day. We don't know how many shows there are going to be, and uh, I would think that we'd get some sort of idea early next week. Because nobody knows. If you're watching the whole thing, make sure you're on Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, in indeed, yeah. Um, so that's it. That's some the... of us are not going to be getting any sleep. That that's going to be quite quite a phenomenal event. Mm. I'm I'm looking forward to it. 
What time is it starting again, Stephen? 8 a.m. Eastern. 8 a.m. Okay. Through to 2 a.m. Eastern. So. Oh, wow. So you're, you're talking uh, almost six, 18 hours. 18 hours, yeah. Yeah. But that's that's the schedule that we've got at the moment. I, I would expect – well, I don't expect too many people want to broadcast before 9 o'clock. So we'll see what, it, what happens. See, so that's 8 a.m. Eastern, right? Yes. Yeah. What time is that for you, Brzezik? Um, I'm having a look. Oh, that's 2 p.m. for me. And 1 p.m. And that'll be 1 p.m. for Stephen. That's right, yeah. It'll be 8 a.m. for me. <laughs> I'm Eastern. <laughs> well, that's it. I mean, it's it's going. To, I mean, it's a 5 a.m. start for the West Coast, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's this, this one time that they are at a disadvantage. Uh, to catch the early part of the show. Yeah, probably should have started at more like 10 o'clock. Yeah. It's yeah. 7 a.m. in California, so that wouldn't have been as bad. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Well, that, that's, it's going to be a great day anyway, and yeah. uh, it'd be great to see everybody there. And, of course, they're going to be it's on the BeLive.tv page. All the recordings will be there. Uh, so if you don't catch anything the first time through, you can do it the following day. And be catch like the very busy that day. <laughs> oh, yeah. The servers that belong are going to be. You know what? <clears throat> I've yeah. I've got a frog in my throat, and I keep thinking this was one. This was on my wish list for Be yeah. Live. You know, is that when you're a guest that you have a a mute button that you can control yourself as a guest? A uh, mute button now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. Now. Uh, that's true. If uh, somebody had a coughing fit, if you could mute yourself. Oh yeah, that's, that's true. That would be a good thing. Uh, sorry, Bruschetti. Just one. Right, you're back. <laughs> did I, did I disappear? No, I muted you. Oh, as Stephen likes to say privately, it's good to be the king. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the what power, I was saying is, power. you know, you want to. I I I get the frog in my throat when I'm when I'm talking, um, and especially if I'm a I'm a guest. I want to be able to mute myself before I clear my throat because, you know, you're sitting there and you're, you're trying to like do it very, very discreetly, but it's really, yes. really hard sometimes. It, it is. It is. And uh, the, I mean, we've all got wish lists, but we'll know on Monday. We'll know at 3 p.m. Eastern on Monday exactly what's taking place. And uh, it's going to be interesting. And all I can say is it's going to be useful. I don't know anything, by the way. I'm just sort of blagging here at the moment. Um, but it should be an interest, interesting day. Uh, and Brigetti's not frozen. We've thawed Brigetti out because it's now coming to summer in South Africa. Uh, it's heading to winter in the UK. And it's always warm in America, Robert, isn't it? Oh, no, I'm in New Jersey. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we can get... A foot of snow easily. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's one of the things that that we're blessed with. We don't get hardly any snow. Uh, we get yeah. our fair share of rain. We're actually, predicting a very snowy season for us this year. Uh, Above average. Well, you guys have had a very short. You know, I mean, I've spoken to a couple of people, and uh, your summer has been very short, I believe. Well, it cooled off a little, but. Now it's gorgeous again. It's 80 degrees. It's sunny. It's, you know, it's, we're, we're, October seems to be like a roller coaster for us. We get a little chilled off and then all of a sudden it heats up again. We ah, get that dear. this month here yeah, in, um, in all, you know, where are we now? Um, October. It's October, yeah. isn't it? Yes, it is. That's our April. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so we have the same thing. I mean, we've just come out of winter now. We're into spring and about to start summer. Um, and we also have these ups and downs in the weather. You know, some days can get pretty cold and other days pretty hot. It's that seasonal change. It's trying to move yeah. to the next one and it can't get a grasp. <laughs> and it was funny. I was just about to shut down my computer and stuff because I just got off a um, – I was taping something. With with another person, and then you popped on, and I was like, "Oh, all right, I'm glad to join in." Yep, yeah, glad you. Always great when you join us. corinda has got a comment. Uh, it says, "By the way, Stephen is doing a new show on Android Tech today." Okay, look forward to it, and wish you a good show. 
For anybody who is uh, looking to broadcast onto YouTube, I've been looking at uh, Lightstream and uh, it's looking good. Going out to YouTube, uh, four people on screen. In fact, I haven't tested it yet, but you can get six people on screen. I know you were saying earlier, Robert, you can have too many systems, but one that goes to YouTube where you can actually have six people on screen, share your screen, play pre-recorded, and show slides and you know it's, it's got every, all the bells and whistles you need yeah, you do that on, webinar, Jim? on i think you can do it on webinar jam all right you, you can webinar jam is what 497 dollars oh that i don't know pricing i know david yeah. used it a lot because he was doing yeah. it this morning and we had four up it reminded me of lab it was yeah. perfect <laughs> well, it, I, 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 perfection is number four <laughs> It is. It is. Uh, Webinar on Jam is four hundred ninety-seven dollars. Uh, Lightstream is free. So there's a, yeah. But it, go, it goes to YouTube. Um, right. Have we missed anything today? Were there anything? were there any questions, Stephen? Well, we we had a script, but uh, we, the script went out the window. I don't know where the script went. <laughs> <laughs> because right. we went down the rabbit hole. I, right. I opened it, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> this question came up has come up twice in two days and i think i've got a sneaky feeling that the marketers are joining us again on belive.tv because the question has come up is if we run a live event and someone is watching are their friends notified of this okay if you run a live. facebook live like a be live thing and someone yeah. is watching are their friends notified no but if their friends type something, their friends could be notified. Yeah. Because that's the effect of Facebook. So and so left a comment on this post or whatever else. That can bring people in. I totally agree. You know, the other thing that comes up often is uh, that people want to know about is 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 how the notifications work in Facebook, you know, if you're going live. Now, as far as I know, if you can get quick engagement on your live and you can get people commenting within the first, I don't know, is it 30 seconds or something like mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Three minutes. Um, All right. Okay. Is it three minutes? Yep, because okay, that gives you a lot more time. The first 30 to 45 seconds, Facebook is trying to notify people. Right. So they don't, that's right. taking that time. But you, you want to get comments so the, so the, pretty much within the first two minutes. First three minutes. Two to three minutes, you want to okay. get comments. Right. Which is a problem if you schedule it because nobody can see you for the first 12. You, unless, you they subscri unless they subscribe. I don't schedule anymore. No, I, we've given up. Well, I've given up. And Brigitte, you do a mix. Well, I'm I'm now doing the event. I'm I'm setting it up as an event, and uh -huh. then just go live. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because the problem with scheduling is they get notified you scheduled it. Yeah. And if they don't hit the get reminder button. They will not be notified when it goes live. That's that's it, and that that's the problem. But uh, I started using again. If I can, I've probably not written it down. I started using Live Leap again this week because we've got five shows uh, Monday through Friday, four be live in five, and it now makes sense rather than sitting there for the first five minutes of the show sharing it out left, right, and centre. We now let Live Leap do it which means that when we start the show, we actually start the show. We're not saying this is pretend. So anybody coming to watch the replay is engaged from the beginning because they don't have to wade through the first five minutes. So I want to give a shout out to uh, to Live Leap. We'll do it properly next week, I think. Uh, but it does mean that we can take the show and as soon as we go live, it's shared to uh, the Belivers group. It's shared to LVS17, which is a group that uh, David Vaughan and I run with John Upton. And it's shared in several other places as well. All of that happens automatically. And I've noticed that since we started using it this week, engagement has gone up. 
We're getting the engagement that you talked about, Robert, from the beginning. Now, the question is, though, when somebody taps into it, because, you know, when it's when, when any live stream starts on Facebook, whether it's shared out from the original or anything else, yeah. when they got to tap into it to hear it and be part of it, and then they can type and comment. Where is the original post? The original post is on the Be Live in Five page. Okay, because the problems that were arising on some of the situations, and I don't, I think this is something Facebook has to look into. Yeah. You can share something sometimes, and you can just put the volume up and it stays in that window, but then people comment on my shared thing. Yeah. You don't see it because nope. it's on shared one, not on the original. Now. Correct. Me, yep. That brings me to the next point. Lively Pro, okay, which is the sort of next version up on Lively, they've now got a fully blown comments manager, which brings in comments from all shares. That's onto, important. Onto, onto one page. Now, I don't know whether it does it live, but it certainly does it after the event so that you can then go in and you can actually respond to all the comments because it does uh, post back to Facebook. So mm -hmm. you can see all comments from all sources on one page and respond to it. So uh, well, I'm still, that's valuable. I'm mm. still I, I need to do some more case studies, but yeah. I want to know if using Be Live, Lively, any of these things, yeah. or if I go on Facebook Direct, <gasps> which one gets better engagement? That's a good question. That's a good because question. there is a lot of I, talk there right now about Hootsuite, Post Planner, Edgar, all these third-party schedulers. And then if you post it directly with Facebook, with their scheduler, there are people getting better engagement and being pushed out. And I'm wondering if Facebook's algorithm is holding back on third-party schedulers. I have a sense that they do. Mm -hmm. I have a sense that they do because I have, when I go live natively on Facebook, I am finding that it picks up engagement almost instantly. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's so I have a now. sneaky suspicion. Yeah. Yeah. Like all my posts on my Facebook business page, I schedule them directly through Facebook. Now, Twitter, I schedule through Hootsuite because I actually use the little Hootlit mm -hmm. So if I want to tweet out I'm going to be live or whatever else, I can do it through that. But people don't know it. But just so you know, it's not really pertaining to live streaming and stuff. But Twitter actually has its own scheduling system mm. yep. inside of Twitter. I didn't know that. I'll send you the link to the video I made. Brilliant. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. All right. Look forward. Thank you. Forward to that link. We'll post this it on the comments awesome. as well. Sorry. That'll be great. Okay. There's another thing I want to ask you guys. I mean, this pertains to live streaming. Um, a couple of people have asked about it, and I see a lot of live live streamers do this when they start a show. They will sit and say, you know, oh, um, there's nobody here. I'll I'll just wait until a few people come in. Um, is my sound working? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. I, I want to scream when people do that, you know. <laughs> I, it's, I a, know. it's a personal pet peeve. It's almost as if you who are there immediately – you know, you're not important. Your time's not important because they're waiting, you know, tap, 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 waiting for other people to arrive before they start their show. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll give my pet peeve and then you can give yours, Robert. No, I don't have um, pet peeve. My, I have my, <laughs> my, mine is when the host starts the show and they know they've got a guest, but they talk for between five and ten minutes with the guest sat in the background waiting to come on. It That's should be fine. within two minutes. Oh, yeah. Give, give who you are, what you're doing, what today's show is about, bring them in. Right. But, um, it, but with your thing, I was going to say, Brigetti, I 
and this is from Periscope days and all the way through Facebook Live and Blab and it doesn't matter. I myself, I tell people what we're going to talk about today, whether it's an interview or if it's me just giving tips. And then I'll say, by the way, and then the other thing I say right in the beginning is, by the way, if you're watching this on the replay, thank you very much. Because I want to get that up early because yeah. you're watching it on the replay. And then I'll also throw in, if you're if you if you having some audio problems and you can't hear me or freezes, just let me know in the comments below. That's how I answer yeah. that question you just did. I don't say, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can, can you is am I okay? I just say if you're having some problems, let me know in the comments. Yeah. Easy to do, often forgotten. And it's very simple, and you just get over it. And then if you get comments, I don't hear you. It's like, oh, okay, you, you don't hear me. Does, is, does anybody else have the same problem? Do I need to restart this? Because then it's an issue. Yeah. But if it's only one person saying it, then you can turn around and say, you may need to go out and come back. Everybody else is, is okay right now. Yeah. Oh, and something funny. Do you guys know what what the dead giveaway is when you have a new person on doing Facebook Live and they're are they a scoper? No. Have no. you picked that up? No. What? Well, the, the minute they start their Facebook Live and they're going, "Hey, hey, hey, what's up, everybody?" You know that that's a scoper. <laughs> <laughs> the definition of a scoper. No, no. The hey, hey, hey is me. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knew. That's like, how many times, Stephen, have I chopped in and I will uh, It's the call sign. It's the call I, sign. And that was my call sign on, on Periscope. I always went, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, it's the weekend. It is for myself and Brigetti, Robert. You've got a few hours to go. Um, yeah, I got an hour. I got to go get my, my, my little YouTuber. All right. Thank you for joining us. I thank and you. Where can people find you, sir? Best place to find me is uh, on Facebook. Just go to my business page, The Social Leader, um, or check out my blog at thesocialleader.us. Brilliant. And Brigetti, where can we find you? Can you can find me all over the place on Facebook. I am um, But what I do want to invite people to is on Sunday on the Cape Town Water Crisis page um, at – 815 GMT plus two. I'm starting a very special series with a gentleman on sustainable living. He is a water wizard, and what he's going to be doing is he's, he's going to explain to people how they can upcycle 21,000 liters of bath and kitchen water per month. Um, and they can do this with a one-day project. He teaches people how to do that. He is absolutely phenomenal. And and whether you're experiencing droughts or flooding, potable water is the goal. We all need potable water. And he has completely got this down to a fine art. So I'm going to be starting a new series with him where he's going to be teaching people um, how to do this. Love it. I wish you a big audience. That's all I can say. And it goes well without any problems. Thank you. All right. Okay. So from Brigetti and I and from Robert, we wish you all a wonderful weekend. And we'll be back at the same time next week. Take care. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye, Bye from Cape Town. Bye from Wiltshire. And goodbye from New Jersey. New Jersey. <laughs> And it's goodbye from everybody. And